Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited that you are here and that you clicked on this video. I just wanted to make this video just to kind of tell you a little bit about me, why I am starting this channel and what to expect going forward. So a little bit about me, my name is Katie. I am 28 years old. I have been married to my husband for five years. <laughs> uh, we have a one-year-old little boy named Lincoln. Um, Lincoln came to us through IVF. So this channel will be about infertility, IVF, um, just daily living, family. I'm a stay-at-home working mom. Um, but we are about to start a new adventure and that is IVF for baby number two. So I wanted to start this channel a long time ago. I wanted to do it back when we were doing it the first time. Um, there really isn't a lot, or at that time, there wasn't really a lot of people out there talking about it. Um, so when I did go through infertility and miscarriage and IVF, it kind of felt a little lonely. And my best resources was YouTube. So I watched a ton of YouTube videos. And I really wanted to do it back then, but I was just a little too nervous. So instead, I just created an Instagram page which was great. I had tons of support from friends, family, and even some people that I didn't know. YouTube is just a great platform just to meet new people that are experiencing the same things that you are going through. So now that we're starting round two, I decided it's it. This is the time I am starting this channel. So here we are. So where are we now? Um, we originally thought that we were going to wait till Lincoln was two before we decided to start anything. And just the more that time went by and the more I thought about it, I really wanted to start it sooner. I really want them closer in age and you just never know with IVF and fertility how long it's really going to take, which has already come true already. So this was like, I think in September. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and call just to see what are the steps. So I called. And at that time, she said, you know, you need to come in for like, um, let's see, what is it called? Like a first, almost like a first time patient consult because it had been over a year since I had been at that clinic. Um, and she's booked till like November. So I was like, okay, we, we need to go ahead and like get that on the books. But I wanted to talk to my husband first. So when I called back, she had been booked till December. My original thought process was we would maybe start in like the IVF process in like January. This was, you know, back in September. I don't know what I was thinking, of course. Of course not. But um, I went December 7th for my original appointment and then they did blood work and scheduled me for an um, SHG. An SHG is a saline sonogram, and I'm gonna actually talk about that more in our infertility journey video because I had that done then. But what I found out then was that I had calcifications in my uterus that I needed a hysteroscopy for before we can proceed with a transfer. Um, I'm not really sure what caused that. She said it possibly could have been my birth. I had Lincoln around like three weeks early. It could have been like the placenta didn't all the way detach, but I also hemorrhaged during birth, which is also an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. So this was, like I said, like towards the end of December. And so she said I could schedule it for the end of December or the beginning of January. And since Lincoln was born on December 31st. I decided, you know what, it's his first birthday, his first Christmas. I don't want to be having surgery around that time. So I said, let's do January. So she said, okay, we'll have them call you and schedule. Well, a couple of weeks went by and no call. I guess it was like the end of the year, you know, new year rolling around, whatever. So once I got it scheduled, it was scheduled for February 22nd which is in just a few days. So that is kind of where we are. I have to get a COVID test first. Never had one of those done before. We'll see how that goes. But once I get the COVID test, we're in the all clear. Monday, we will be having surgery and then we'll go from there. The little man decided that he needed to be in the video. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
so this is Lincoln. Like I said, he is 13 months old. Can't believe it. But anyway, if you want to stay tuned for what's coming, you want to follow along on our journey, um, learn more about us and our infertility story, be sure to subscribe, like this video, and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching. <laughs> so see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. What is coming? You want to. So, if you want to stay tuned for what is.